Alright guys, and welcome to Phoenix Wright Episode 12. Uh, it's been about two weeks since I played it last. Uh, I've uh, got a really big test coming up next Friday, so I haven't been, uh, been kind of busy balancing a few things here and there. But, did find time to go ahead and get a little bit of Phoenix Wright in for you. So, we will be moving on to the trial now. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I'm pretty excited about it because I've heard from a friend of mine who's been playing this also that the Steel Samurai case, all the good great stuff is in the next uh, section coming up. So we're gonna keep going with it. Um, I think I remember most of the stuff. Uh, if not, uh, we'll, just, we'll just do our best. So all right, without further ado, let's get in there. Should be at the trial, yeah. Here we go. Mr. Will Powers. Um, that's <laughs> <Mr>. right. <laughs> I love the animations of it. They're so good. Yes. Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, 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 nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Oh, it's the um, the kid is gonna testify that Dick Gumshoe just happened to. Yeah, that's right. Right, Mia. Oh, she's here. Uh oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to you. Uh, this is no time for dead people jokes, please. <laughs> oh, come on. You are going to this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, Mr. Powers is truly innocent. We should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked. We have to find something, Phoenix. Today. It's that this trial. This isn't gonna be easy. October 19th, 10 a.m. The District Court, courtroom number four. Court, now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers, is I, your fair and always humble judge. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Edgewood. The defense is ready, Your Honor. But not actually. We kind of need more time. Very well, Mr. Edgewood. Your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, there were only that there were other people at present studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving that they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgewood. I wonder if it'll be the producer. That's what I was thinking. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella, the director. Brilliant. Or that director, I guess. Seems like he would be like the least credible person. Will witness state his name and profession. But then again, you know, so obviously we're at a disadvantage here being the defense. But at the same time, I mean, the prosecution only has one day further to prep their witnesses and get everything ready too. So there's probably details that Edward overlooked or not. We'll see. How rude can you get? You don't know me? I am the director. I make the Steel Samurai. No brothel. <laughs> Every time this guy with the names. <laughs> Salvadella of director television. Oh, not this time though. Edric's like, I'm not having this nonsense anymore. <laughs> We're at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, sure. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix. Yes, Mia. Let's start by picking his testimony apart. All right. Mr. Powers is it. You know what that means. Press him. Someone in the that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. No kidding. So where's Mia this whole time? She's just probably casually like, Yeah, what's going on? An action scene run through. Um, <laughs> took a lot more time than I thought it would. I heard that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. Okay, but I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. Okay, we know that there was a lunch plate in the Studio 2 trailer. It was empty. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it? Hmm, hmm. Time, Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30, and according to your testimony, you were in the meeting at the time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross. Yes, Your Honor. This is it. Phoenix! 
pick this guy's testimony apart. The studios from to nine. From I was at the studios from around nine that morning. Hold it! Hold it! I, I kind of don't know. Oh ho, ho, no! Did you come in on the It's the industry way. Yeah, not about the freaks in your industry. <laughs> Still, pardon me. What? Oh man, I don't know that one. That's how you know I'm starting to get old. Fifth I was pretty busy all that day. For real? For when? For what? Mm hmm. Tell us more about that. During the morning, I was doing um an action scene run. Employee area? That's right. It was a fight scene between the Seal Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Somebody poisoned uh, WP. I don't know why it would be him, though. He doesn't seem to have any real motivation. Is anyone else in the run through? Oh, yeah. That security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. LOL! <laughs> she was cheering on Hammer. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. Wait a minute. Uh, wasn't the stage prop lady there? took a lot more time than I thought it would. Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you would have already heard about this. But WP twisted his ankle during the run through scene. Alright. So he knows about it. Okay. Which of course led me to miss him lunch. Roffs. <laughs> Roffs? Rolling on the floor. Starving? <laughs> Watch the employee area. This is kind of interesting. Evil mistake. The assistant cooked some up. Look at the other uh, mistake. <laughs> there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area and in the other. One. But I had a meeting in the studio two trailers and ended up skipping lunch. Is that really accurate? So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been a tough Phoenix. Yeah, is it something? That, yeah, it seemed odd to you. Yeah. It's contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manila! <laughs> I had steak! Well, when I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates. Same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Ah! Aha! <laughs> Good call. <laughs> I er, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat. After all... <laughs> T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, your sister went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. So... So, when exactly did you eat it then? We took one break during that meeting. I wolfed it down then. Okay. That's an image. <laughs> okay, really took... Wait, you said that if they took a break... Yeah. I'll press him on that one, yeah. We're in the meeting until around four. What were you discussing? Steel Samurai story and our budget. Get this. The sponsors turn to me and say, Mr. Manoa. Sponsors? Wait a minute. What sponsor? Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. These scripts of viewers are not appropriate for children. Can you believe it? What with this guy going to be? Yeah, I can believe it. <laughs> Nobody left during the whole meeting? During the meeting, I'm pretty sure no one just heard some. False! Wait a minute. You didn't take a single break? Uh, well, uh, yeah, not not a one. Wait, wait, what, what do you mean? I've only had an idea. What, you said what to do. <laughs> Sam, I don't have this point at the table. Can't see the. Oh, it's <laughs> you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court you ate that T bone steak during the break? Well, it's your move, Manila. What's <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. Yeah, yeah. They took a break. One of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break and who that sponsor was. Very well, Mr. Manila, your testimony, please. <laughs> Edgeworth was ready. Has he set a trap for us? Yeah. For we- I mean, for real, for real? For- I oh, got you. But it was only 15 minutes. 15! It's only 13 in base 12! 
Uh, not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One, lol. That was only just enough time to eat a steak, if you ask me, Steve. Uh, huh. It would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. <laughs> Very well, you may begin the cross <laughs> Get him! Get him, Phoenix! Ruffle! What time? Yeah, that's important. I'd say it was from around 2.30 to 2.45. Hmm. That's the time of the death! So we could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and came back. I guess it's possible. The Edgeworth was already aware of that, though, huh? You know for sure it was 15 minutes? Eating steak, man. What else? See, the thing about Studio 2 is, you probably guys remember from there, but we didn't actually see any remnants on that plate over there. We just saw that, uh, likely they ate steak, too. I don't think I've got that in my court record, though. Can you get in there? No. And Edgeworth hasn't called his guy. What else? Two plates on the table. All oh, right, the other one was Divas. Sorry, D Vasquez. To eat T-bone steak in 15 minutes. That's quite a feat. Not enough time for someone to commit murder. Maybe. Why? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Oh, is that your honor? Testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. People in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. Not necessarily. It was possible for them to go to Studio One. What? Nani? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Well, Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Oh, well, it looks like we'll at least have a chance. They're already ready to take the point away from me, though. Uh, yeah, it... Okay, so, here's what we know. We know that the monkey had blocked the way. Uh... We know that the monkey had blocked the way. From Studio uh, 1 to over there. I don't know if that means somebody might have had to go around, but... I don't know. I'm gonna say it's impossible. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. Haha, uh -huh. thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of truth. What do you mean? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meaning came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. I remember, I think the game was just testing you to see if you remembered that fact. The fallen monster monkey head was in the way! Mrs. Monkey! At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked the studio's mascot head. Ergo! When the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way the studio was blocked. Blocked. By Mrs. Monkey's severed head. It's actually Mr. Monkey. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was like, Mrs.? Wait a minute. And somehow I fell. No desire to correct him. Yeah, I believe we have enough evidence. <laughs> Come on. I'd like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? Well, that's okay. We have other people to question. Don't give up now, Phoenix. We have found that there are several other people in Studio 2 of the day of the murder. Remember, that guy said sponsor. The sponsor's turn to me. He's like, what sponsor? Remember, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. Therefore, they have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is his, uh, decisive evidence that he is the one who did but at least we have to prove it this time. Sheesh. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce the evidence. Not necessarily. Who's this with this? <laughs> the kid. Hora. Hora. Court will take a 10-minute recess after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Yeah, pretty sure the game was just trying to trip you up there and make you lose one of your points um, by having you see if you remembered about the monkey head. What do we do now? Everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. What, Nani? Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what help do I have? <laughs> well, you're the, 
You're the spirit lady. You better channel somebody. Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. People in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Okay. What's going to happen to me? Don't worry, Will. Everyone in the car thinks I did it. You think I'm a bird? Hold on, Will. Hold on. If you're innocent, we'll prove it. I guarantee. You. Leave it to us, then. Be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai. Here to children everywhere. Ah, so cute. Hi, you. Thanks. Don't worry, Will. We'll, we'll get you out of this. The game says so. <laughs> this for the kids. Let's do it. We'll figure a way out of this. I don't know how. I just I feel like there's somebody who came from the outside through that grate, and or somehow, and uh, cause it somebody poisoned him. We got the drugs to show that. We just need the connection. There's another person that's missing from this whole equation. Watch back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. What could it be? Could it be the time that we're recording? No, we're good. As our witness is a grade school of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma in his cruel questioning. Get out of here, Edgeworth. I see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground nonsense. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Kui Atkins to the stand. We're the one who questioned him in the first place. <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a boxer in the stand on. Yes, God, bring him a box. One of those donut pranks should do. I do love donuts. <laughs> Will the witness state his name and grade in school? I'm Cody Atkins. Witness! <laughs> it's like. I'm telling you about these names! Witnesses and names! <laughs> what? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around? <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, hey, it's you! The boob, I mean the nice lady. Cody Heck, second grade. I get the feeling this is gonna be a long, tough day. Yeah. Edward, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try not to, try to be gentle. Witness! Cody. <laughs> you're present, er, you're at Rome Studios in the day of the year. You got a problem with that? <laughs> Cody Hackins! Oh boy, please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? <laughs> Just Mr. Edge would be fine. I prefer beard or gentleman! <laughs> Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden for this <laughs> photo. My apologies. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. <laughs> Special permission. That's possible. And you lost? <laughs> hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Huh, okay. Murphy had that camera the day of the murder. Yeah, he had the camera. He took the shot. He gave us a book. Remember? You better make a note of it in court record. Oh, okay, evidence to present. A new digital camera, Cody always current, though he's still learning how to use it. Very well, Cody. This is for the court about what you saw during the incident. Just count. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that an old lady wouldn't catch me. <laughs> yeah. I was going for the studio. I got kinda lost in the way though, for about 30 minutes. Wow. When I came by the studio, there was still. still samurai. It totally rocked right before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. Of course, the steel samurai took him down. Ow! If he had my camera with me, if I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. He didn't have it. Although I couldn't get to the, to the studio, so I went home. But wasn't the guy killed in the studio? Wait a minute, something's wrong here. The defense may begin its cross, but please be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults. <laughs> He's tougher than that one guy from the first case. The guy foamed at the mouth. <laughs> I wanted to see a steel semi rehearsal just once. Oh, one second, fellas. Alright, we're back. So, uh, sorry about having the uh, thing over some of the dialogue here. I wanted to test the camera a little bit, so... That way you guys can read this part here. 
Uh, still figuring the whole camera thing out. We'll find we'll find our way. I found the map on the internet. Went to studios that day. All right, let's go back to this. I always want to see some rehearsal just once. Don't need to pass on that. Well, might as well. Uh, or not. Uh, oops. Whoop. Oh, there we go. Hold it. <laughs> you really like to steal samurai, huh? Of course I do. I've taken every show, and I go to all the live performances. That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Of course. Duh. My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. <laughs> I the map on here see those. Okay. Was that the day of the first time you've been to the studio? Uh, actually, I've been a couple times. Never managed to get there on a rehearsal day. And that security lady's always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Old bag. Chill, pops. <laughs> Do it. I was supposed to talk with you cutting me off. <laughs> I went to the woods off the pass so that old lady wouldn't catch me. Okay. Off the path. Yeah, you know how the studios are in the valley there? If you go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. Uh... And he had to walk by the camera. That's where the killer came from. I see. Anyhow. I was going for the, st I was going for the studio. Okay. Did nothing unusual happen on your way to the studio? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by any chance? Monkey head? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. So you went straight to the studio? What time did you get there? I got kind of lost in the way, though, for about 30 minutes. Interesting. Why? You got lost in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. Hmm. But guess what happened next? When I came out of the studio, there was a Steel Samurai. Steel Samurai! Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. Looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. See, what then? Totally rock right before my eyes out came the bad guy. What? What sort of bad guy? A guy. A person. Kinda tall. Skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kinda far away. Hmm, it's been awfully vague. Of course, it's still Samurai took him down. Pow! Huh? Well, he kind of didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Yeah! <laughs> I have my camera. You did have your camera, didn't you? If? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess this scene. Oh, no. Phoenix, remember, it's a child. Gentle words, prefer. <laughs> yeah, you should really should be the one talking to him. Alright, let's go to this last. Actually, let's, uh, let's go ahead and save it before we get into deep after we've uh, done that one thing. Alright, so uh, let's go to this last one here. It's kind of tall. Interesting. Yeah, he's even got it now. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. There you go, that's a soft objection. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring a digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Ooh! <laughs> shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? That's right. A word with you. Uh, uh, <laughs> what is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? Oh, come on, Judge. It's a, a digital camera? Oh, boy. Kind of a new sort of camera. Yeah. New in, like, 2000, maybe. Not even then, really, but... I think this game came out in 2001. Anyway, how do I explain that? <laughs> I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studio. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child, sir. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. Oh! Little shade there at Edgeworth. Hit him with the like, I don't care if he's a child or an attorney for the prosecution. <laughs> what do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody. <laughs> what? Yeah, so I have my camera. So what? 
You got a problem with that? <laughs> I like his little box. So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Well, why would I use it? I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. What I saw. Yeah, I had my camera with me. But it was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off. Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, Steel Samurai rules. Hmm. Yeah? Is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, you're cross. Okay. Yeah, I, can't I don't think I need to hold it. Why didn't you use it? He's getting to that. Relax and listen. Um, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. Okay. I was glued to the action because I made it. I thought that he said he always gets the victory. Yeah. So I'm going to use that as my evidence when it's time. So you were watching this little samurai? Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once? No. Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Yeah. <laughs> and wham. So the bad guy attacked him first? Yeah. Huh. Is that bad guy? It was a person. How was he dressed? Kinda don't remember. Fair enough. To be watching Steel Samurai. Let's see what happened next? Then the bad guy stopped moving. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Hmm. Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice! How? <laughs> How'd he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch! Samurai chop and a samurai slap! Something like that. Still being vague. Yeah. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. I should have play, play this. Cody. Nani. Something is bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Yet you missed the most important part? Objection! What's the meaning of this? The witness has stated he saw quite clearly. Objection! For no reason! Objection! You shut up! Joe as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap! My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow! Oh no, I didn't, I took a picture and I put it in my book! Hora! Hora! Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how you might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody act? It's the climax of the fight. I know you can figure this out, okay? Can watch the climax of the fight. reason he couldn't watch it, he was watching something else. Show evidence. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence. Yes. Hopefully this. Take that! Take that! It's my proof! Proof! Uh, can I do that again? Uh, why he couldn't watch? He was watching something else. This has got me a little confused. I'm a little, I'm puzzled. Ah, puzzled. Nah, uh, I thought that that book would show thing. Let's see what I've got in the court record. I forgot I can look at that at a time. Yeah. 
Yeah, obviously it had to be. It's gotta be something in the evidence. Um, but what? Let's try the camera. The camera! Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received his camera. Oh, he didn't know what he was doing with it. Aha! Oh, I missed some obvious thing. It happens. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Aha! Correct! Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture! Oh! Bullseye! What's your problem, Pops? You gotta think you're picking on little kids! <laughs> Pressing, not picky. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could have just stand there watching his hero. I'll take a picture. Well, I thought he I actually thought he did take a picture, but I forgot that they kind of emphasized that he only is not familiar with the operation of the camera. Very interesting. Hmm. Cody, there was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. <laughs> well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Yeah, me too. Have him testify again. Right. Mia's in there. She's like, do it. And do it now. Well, let's catch the next part of Cody's testimony on the next episode of Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. Trilogy. Steel Samurai Case. 12,000. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you're enjoying that, and we will see you next time. See you guys.